I've been born again. You know, you must be. That's why Jesus says, you must be born again because, see that nature, that old nature in which you're conceived and born, you know that you got from your parents, they got from their parents, and then all the way back to the first one, to Adam, your first daddy and my first daddy, his name was Adam. He brought the sin into the world. He brought the death into the world, you know, and passed it on to his posterity. And so we all, all of us, you know, we're, we're born into the world with these awful, dreadful natures that hate God and hate our neighbors. Unless that is, you're born again, it's the only cure. You know, it's, it's not love, you know, the world's love, at least anyway, that we need. You know, it's not psychology, and, and it's definitely not more politics that we need. That's gone, that's shot through. No, friends, it's, uh, we need to call it what it is. It's sin, you know. It's not, oops, I made a mistake, you know. It's not, oops, I, I, I got that wrong, you know. Friends, call it what it is. Call it what it is. We are sinners. That's why we are bad. That's why we get it wrong. That's why the world's in the state of sin. Sin is the problem. Sin is the problem. How you doing, sir? Have a good day, sir. Sin is the problem. And Jesus Christ and his shed blood is the cure. The only cure for sin. Christ died for sinners. Christ died for the ungodly. That's what we are. We're born that way. We come into the world that way. Ungodly, unrighteous, unholy, separated from God because of our iniquities, because of our rebellion against God. Friends, until that is, we're reborn. Made new creatures in Jesus Christ. The nature changed. And then the practice changes too. You change the nature, it changes the practice. Let the wicked forsake his way, his practice that is, his pattern of living. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. The wrong thinking. Our minds, you know, our minds are upset, our minds are confused, our minds are broken, our thinking's wrong. You look at the world and you think, yes, yes, the world. It was all made for me. It revolves around me. Self, you know. The idolatry of self. Let me tell you, it wasn't made for Adam. And it wasn't made for you either. It was made for God and for his glory. And guess what, friends? The world does not revolve around you. It revolves around God in Jesus Christ. Friends, all you are is just a sinner. Madam, say it, I am a sinner. Say it, confess it, be truthful. What you should be doing is, like the lepers in the Bible, they had to go about everywhere they went, ringing a little bell, and they had to go about shouting, unclean, unclean, unclean. But what you should be doing is, going through the city center with a little bell, I am sin. I am sin. I am sin. Say it all together, friends. Say it. I am sin. Because that's what you are. Wall to wall, right to your very back teeth. Nothing but sin. Walking, talking, breathing sin with nothing to offer God. And out of his favor, out of his love, no blessing, none whatsoever. Until you're born again. Until Jesus Christ changes you. Until by the power of Jesus, Christ died for the ungodly. That's the gospel. That's the gospel you don't hear in your churches no more in Birmingham City. Oh, they'll sing and dance for you. They'll feed you. They'll clothe you, maybe. But they won't tell you what kind of a rotten sinner you are. They'll play rock and roll music for you. But they won't tell you, they won't tell you how ungodly you are. They won't tell you that you're a child of wrath. They won't tell you that you need to be born again. Or if they do, they'll put some kind of a, you know, 
a twist on it, you know, as to what it means. It means that God in Jesus Christ, His Son, comes to you and changes your very nature from the inside out, you know, so that your desires change. No longer do you desire the world. No longer do you desire your sin. Willing to forsake your lovers. Your lovers that you chase after. Your lovers that you won't let go. You want the kingdom of God. You want the blessings of God. You've got to get rid of your lovers. Your lovers have got to go. What's your lover today? Is it the drunkenness? The drunkenness, you have to forsake your lover. Is it idolatry? Is it some kind of religion that's contrary to the Word of God, the Bible? Is that your lover? You've got to forsake your lover. For Jesus, He has to become your lover. Friends, you cannot have your sin. You cannot keep your lovers and have the kingdom of God? Is it sexual immorality? Is it fornication? Is it sodomy? What, who, and what is your lover today? Is it self? Is it the God of self? Is it the idol of self? All has to be forsaken. If you cannot forsake self, you cannot be my disciple, Jesus says. Everything has to be forsaken. The world, the flesh, and the devil, everything, even yourself. Or oh, you cannot be, you cannot be my disciple, says Jesus. In order to be a disciple of Jesus Christ, you have to be born again. The old nature has to die. You have to be made alive. You have to be resurrected. You have to be brought back from the dead. That's what salvation is. Dead in your trespasses and sins. Dead, dead, dead. Not just a little bit dead. Not just a big bit dead. But completely, totally dead. In your trespasses and sins. And the only answer to death is life. The only antidote, I tell you, friends, to death is life. Jesus says, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believes in me, though he were dead, yet he shall live. You want to live? You want to tell the life in your soul? Then Jesus, Jesus alone can give it to you. When he says, I am the resurrection and the life, he means I'm the one. I'm the one. I have life. I have life, and I came that you might have life, and that you might have it more abundantly. Oh, there's life in Jesus. There's life in Jesus. It's what He came to give. But do you have that eternal life in your soul? Have you been to Jesus? Washed in the blood of the Lamb. How are you doing, sir? You a good day? Okay, good. Ah, yeah, I'm good, sir. I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Do, do what I like best. Are you, are you a believer, sir? You're not? Why not? Can I ask why? Because. Because? Because what? Are you a believer? Yes, I'm asking. No, I'm asking you. Why? Because uh, God is. Everybody knows that God is. And, do you, uh, I don't. Oh, sorry. Well, uh, God says on the contrary, he says that... But if you don't believe in God, then he, what God says is irrelevant. He says, he says... But if you don't believe in Him, again, that's irrelevant. Yeah, but here's the thing. Do you have any other proof apart from that book of yours? Sorry? Do you have any other proof apart from that book of yours? No, no, I, I start with this book and I finish with this book. Because this is the Word of God, sir. The Word of God, and God says, you know God... You know that he is, yeah, but you suppress that truth in unrighteousness because you see you got a simple nature, sir. You don't want there to be a God, but so you God use all kinds of means to explain cruel. God away. The God in your book is, is very cruel. It's, 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 How is he? He's good, he's good, he's he just. He innocence and he... How do you, sir? And he punishes men and women oh, yeah, yeah, but, Well, they need to be, sir. They need to be. I'm a better father than the should, God of yours. Should, should not wickedness be punished, sir? Should not wicked people, I mean, shouldn't murderers be hanged? Huh? Are you one of the, are, are, are you a lefty? Are you, are you one of these uh, 
social lefties that uh, think everybody's good and kind and nobody should be punished for anything. Evil doers have to be punished, sir. The wages of sin is death. The gift of God is eternal life. You don't have to remain in a state of death. You don't have to remain in your sin, sir. You eternal life. life. What do you want eternal life for? I don't know what to do with your sin. Because, because I don't want eternal death. Rainy sun, you because that's the opposite. Yourself. Eternal death. Hell. That, that born, hell. The damnation. We, we die. That's the, it. No, 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 sir. No, 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 yeah. sir. No, sir. That's about it. You have eterni eternity in your soul, sir. How you doing, sir? Right. You believe us, sir? Oh, yeah, there's, oh, there's, see, there's two of us. There's two of us. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, it's good. No, no. Tell me, where do things come from? There's no God. Where do things come from? Where's the universe come from? That's too hard an explanation. For oh no, 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 no. It's simple. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Sir, so, where, where do you get things like? You know, some people say to me. You know, some atheists will say to me. You know. I will not believe in what I can't see. So I say, okay, so you don't believe in love? You can't see love, but you believe in it, yeah? What about logic? Where, where do you get logic? You know, we're using logic now. We're, we're, we're debating, we're talking. To, where does it come from? Where's the law, where's the law of logic come from? Where does the laws of nature come from? Sun came up this morning. The, 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 that's not needed. That's not necessary. What? I mean... There's the people order. who wrote that book years ago didn't the have order. the kind of knowledge well, that where, you and I can have. Where, where does it know? Therefore, they try to explain things related to things they couldn't understand. What? And they came up with, you know, mythology. Where does, the, where does the order come from, sir? Where does it come from? Where does the order Obscene, come from? The order. What order? What order? What order? The sun came up this morning, the sun came up tomorrow morning. And the sun goes up. Why? Because God says, it doesn't, it doesn't, because God has embedded the laws of nature in his creation. That's why, sir. There is no order. You know about cancer? Eh? You know about cancer? What is about what? Cancer. Cancer. It's a disease, sir. It's a disease. So the devil is more... No, sir, 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 sir. Sir, sir, one way conversation. Please, please, please. What about cancer? What's the point? Is that the kind of order you think there is in this world? Disease, sickness and disease, and, and all the maladies that man is faced with came as a result of sin, man's rebellion against God. Yeah? And so the world's full of it, and it's going to increase that. Yeah, it happens. It happens to old people and young people. None of us escape it, sir. None of us escape it. Okay, but what is the sin that child that... He was conceived in sin. He inherited a sinful nature from his parents, so just the same as you did. Sin is something you inherit? Yes, conceived in sin and born in sin, sir. And, you, and, you and you'll die in sin goodness. unless you're born again through Jesus Christ. So your great, 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 great All the way back. All the way back to Adam. To punish you for what he did? All the way, yes, no. all the way back to Adam. All the way back to Adam. The whole race. The whole race of none of us escape. All of sin and come short of the glory of God. Sorry? Contradictory truths at the same time. I mean, because one thing contradicts the other. Sin is an organic reality, sir. It organic grows. Reality. It grows. It's growing, sir. Growing all the time. Is, right to the very what end. Is, what until is what is there'll sin? be, in the end, there'll be nothing but absolute lawlessness. And then God will come and judge the world. And if you're not found in Jesus Christ, trusting in Him, and in His shed blood, if you've not been washed in the blood of the Lamb, sir, you are history, listen, as far as God's listen, concerned. That is just a bunch of... No, sir. That's God's truth, sir. Yeah, but... You but, want it to be. But, you want it to be what you say. It's God's truth. It's God's word, sir. But that's nothing. I mean, if it's God's word. That, that's something someone wrote 5,000 years ago. You've got... Well, and it's, you know, it's been copied and copied and copied and copied. So the original version got lost 2,000 years ago. We still have that thing of yours, but, you know, it's not the original version because it got lost, of course. You know, because so many so much have, time has passed. Yes, but we have but, to. But if you don't, if you realize that that is something someone wrote, this is, this inspired is, by God, we don't really know what Oh, yes, 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 and yes. Yes, every, what's, what's your point? Every word of it, God breathed. God commanded his servants, the, the, the prophets and the apostles, to commit to writing his word, his holy word. And God we have. This is, a, 
this is an English this is an English translation, but we still have we have copies of the original scriptures. Okay. Where? Pardon? Where? In, a, in, yeah, di di in different parts of the world, sir. Or in you know in or 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 universities, or in Cambridge, in, in London. Which ones? Are, what universities? How many? Well, there's thousands the of them. The, the copies. A, a different world. I mean, that has nothing to do. This is science and this is myth. It is true that myths are studied in... in so, sir, well, what's, well, what's the point of science? What's the point of anything? What's everything. Of anything? According to your worldview, everything is just relative. Yeah? So, tell me, why no, do you... Why, why, well, why, why do you keep the law? What? Why do you obey the law? That's the best thing why, to do. Why is it? Why is it? Because I respect my fellow. But why should why should you? There's no God. There's no meaning to anything. So There's no meaning. There's yeah, exactly. So what? So why? Why 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 do anything? Why keep why everything's just this relative. Is, this is a society and the best way human intelligent, sensitive human beings can do to organize ourselves and to have a community is to abide by certain rules that we'll share and respect. But why? No, no God needs Why? What's the point? Because that's best. What's the point? Well, where does, where, the where, where, does the, where does society get these that's rules from? For the well -being where, 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 where does no society get these rules from? You go to the darkest jungle in Amazon where they've never seen the light of day, they've never seen civilization, yeah, they've but never, they the they've never seen a church, they've never heard a Bible, but in that in a, that village in the Amazonian jungle, you find the people, and guess what they do? They actually punish murderers. They put them to death. They punish rapists. Where do they get that from? That's because they've got the works of God in their hearts, so that's why. Oh, oh. Yeah? Hey, that's they know bad. that that's there's a God. Bad. They know that yeah. there's a God, so just the same as you so do, same as everybody know. in the world knows. When a child is born before it knows anything, it knows that God is. So you suppress is, that truth in unrighteousness, sir. Can I ask, uh, say just yes, of course, so What you're saying is, uh, people who don't care about my God... Your God? Who's your, your, your God? No, who's, your, who's your God? Who's your God? I have no God. You have no God? Yeah. Okay. People who don't care about your God, nevertheless, they go by, the, by His rules. Is that what you're saying? I tell you, your God... They your, don't care about him, your, they don't know about him, but your, your God, they go about by his rules. Your is God, your God, sir, is yourself. Way, are they safe or not? Your God, sir, is These yourself. In the Amazon jungles, are they safe or not? Sorry? No, not until they hear the gospel. Not, okay, not, but, not until but, they but, hear but, the gospel and believe the gospel. All right, all right. Is that fair? Pardon? Of course that it's fair. Of course it's fair. God doesn't need to save anybody. God's not, God's not obligated to save any one of us. So those poor people in we're the sinners. We're, we're rebels against the Most High God. God has no obligation to save any one of us, sir. Not one of us. Book. Yeah. Those people it's a mercy. It's a mercy that any are saved. Forever. Here's a city in that eternity. here's a city that has the gospel every day of the week, but 99 percent of the people in Birmingham are not saved. Right, Why? Because they won't. They don't believe. They won't believe. And unless you do believe, you cannot be saved. I don't know. The people in Birmingham who are not saved and who are going to burn in hell forever because yes. they don't listen to what you say and they don't follow no. the rules. No, 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 no. They because they won't listen to what God says. But those people in the other because they won't listen to what God says. Why do because they won't believe what God says. Well, they, they, know that, they know that God is. It's their, their bounden duty as God's creatures to seek after God lest they might find him. Do I your kind of duty, to your saying? duty to seek after God and to find him. Yeah, because you know that he is. But you won't do that. You don't do that. Why? Because you love your sin. You love yourself. You hate God. That's your I simple think, nature you're until living, you're born again, you I see. Think you're living a delusion, so no, sir, no, 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 no reality. There's no reality apart from God. There's no reality apart from God. There's no reality. There's no reality. With, there's no reality without Jesus, sir. Jesus says, I am, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the way, I am the reality. Yeah? Truth, truth. No truth. There's no. The there's no. There, well. There's no truth outside of this book. There's no truth outside of this. Book. What is truth? What is truth? What is truth? Yeah. What is it? No, you tell me. This is me. I haven't got it. <laughs> okay. I think I'm not going to convince you today. No, you're not. No, I. I, I 
But hope, so but hope, hopefully, I can, it's, it's hopefully, I, hopefully, I can convince you, or, or rather, God can. No, no, I'm trying to convince you. No, no, that, that's not going to happen, sir. That's a, no, 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 sir. Needs, no, your... you, you, you need to be born again, sir. You need to come to that place uh, of repentance. Yeah, right. a changing. Let let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Is your thinking this wrong? Okay. Is your thinking this wrong? You need a revolution in your mind, no, no. a radical change in your mind. No, okay. God needs to come by His Spirit. Yeah, okay. convict you of your sin. Good talking to you, sir. Have a nice day. Good talking to you. I, See, I have a nice, wish you the best. And you. Have a nice day, sir. Good you talking too. to you. So, so we're having God, friends, you know, you know, we're, we, we're all of us. That's the problem, you see, our minds, our minds are out of sync, you know. That, that's what the word repentance means. It's a change of mind, you know, a change of thinking. Instead of thinking, you know, by your natural instincts, or your emotions, your feelings, you know, instead of thinking as the world thinks, you know, unbelieving thinking, you turn from that and you turn to God's thoughts. And you start to think God's thoughts after Him. That's the way up and that's the way out of the sin, the sinful pattern, you know? Now, of course, uh, you know, dictates the way that we live. Let the wicked forsake His way, His pattern of living. Why? Because it's contrary to God. Contrary to the law of God, the commandments of God contrary to the will of God and as long as you're contrary to God and that of course is what it means to be ungodly to be unrighteous to be contrary to God is to have a pattern of living that is contrary to the will of God the revealed will of God and that comes from let the wicked forsake his way and, his un and the unrighteous man is thinking because the thinking's wrong. The thinking's wrong. The mind's fallen. Everything about us is fallen. We are sinful. From the top of our heads to the tip of our toes. Nothing but walking, breathing, talking, sin. But Jesus Christ came into the world. This is the good news. Christ died for the ungodly. Christ died for sinners. This is the gospel, friends. This is the good news. That there's salvation. There's a way out. There's a way of escape. And Jesus came. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. To save men and women like you and I. That in the pathway, in the way that He has dictated, that is in the way of repentance and faith towards the Son of God, that we might be saved. The kingdom of God is at hand, he says. Repent and believe the gospel. Why? Because that's the only way you can enter the kingdom of God. Unless you repent, unless you repent, you shall all likewise perish. For God so loved the world that he gave his only, only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal, everlasting life. God did not send his Son into the world that you might perish, that you might remain under condemnation to condemn the world. God sent His Son into the world that the world might be saved in the way that is of repentance and faith towards the Son of God. The only escape route. There is no other. I am the way, Jesus says. I am the way. It's me that you need. I am the way, the truth, and the life. There is no truth without Jesus, and there is no life without believing. No other name under heaven given amongst men, the Bible says, by which a person can be saved. Salvation, salvation, forgiveness. That's what the gospel is about, that there is forgiveness with God that you might be restored to God's favor, that you might be reconciled to God. Oh, dear friends, the judge is at the door and soon to be opened and you ushered into his courtroom to be judged. And when will that time be? Who knows? It could be but just round the corner. It could be today, tomorrow, next week. Who knows, friends? 
the judge is at the door. And I tell you, friends, I tell you, come quicker than, quicker than you imagine, quicker than you perhaps think. And you need to be ready for that day when you stand before the judge because you're going to give an account for your sin nature inherited. You're going to give account for your sinful life and practice, accountable to God for everything that we are and everything that we've done. So dear friends, getting right with God needs to be your priority. Seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness and all the rest shall be added to you. Seek first, 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 not last, not the last thing that you think about. Not the, not the thing that you think about at the end of your life just before you're going to cock your toes up and go out of the world. No, seek first the greatest priority. What are you in Birmingham City for today? Are you here to shop? Are you here for financial reasons, employment reasons? I tell you, whatever you're here for today, there is a greater, a higher priority. The kingdom of God, and you're entering into it. Seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness. His righteousness, not your own. Because your righteousness is not good. How you doing, man? You having a good day? You too. Yeah. Having a good time? Yes, yeah, 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 not too bad. Are you looking around or just standing? I mean, what? do something different. Oh, you? You? Is this a debate? I don't know. Do you want to talk? Is it talk a speech? Away. Yes. You want to talk? You want to talk? What do you want to talk about? Do you believe in Jesus? Do you, do you believe in Jesus? Yeah, I do believe in Jesus. Is, is he your savior? Is he your savior? My savior. Do you believe in God? One yeah. God? Well, Jesus is God. Son Jesus. of God. Jesus is God. Son of God. Eh? More or less like a miracle. He's miracle a miracle of... He, he, he is God exists in three persons: the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yeah, the Father sent the, the Holy Son. Holy Spirit was. I don't describe it. I don't get time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy Spirit. Right. Strange lady. Strange lady. She's gone. So there you go, friends. Uh, the righteous seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, because your righteousness and mine is no good. No standing before God in our own righteousness, that would be dreadful. That would be a drastic, drastic thing, you know, to, to even attempt, to even think of doing. In that day when God judges you by His Son, Jesus Christ, you if, you're found, if, you're, if you're found standing in your own righteousness, friends, you're in trouble. You need another's righteousness. You need the righteousness of the gospel of God's Son, can Jesus can Christ. Your Bible? What's that? What? I, I, I just want what do, to see the text. I, I get them somewhere. No, no, no. You can't have my Bible. I, I do have your God. You I, do, I do speak from your God. Okay. And I can talk. Okay. Talk to me. Okay. Talk away. What do you want to talk about? You are on a high post note. You are physically tall. Yeah. Uh, how can we come to the level if you front me? I can't be different now. You want to talk? You have to come you want to, to talk? the common terms. Do you want you to have talk? to stand here. Do you want to talk? Do you want to give me a letter? I do have a letter. Oh, go and buy one. Go and buy one. Then you can sit. You can stand over there and we can talk. Yeah. Okay. I don't buy. I choose. You don't have. You don't have to be my level to talk. Yeah. Have you repented of your sin? Timothy, what Have you repented of your I don't sin? Get anything from have you that? repented of your sin? I do get some Have you believed on Jesus Christ for salvation? Salvation. Yeah, Pardon? Right. Yeah, right. You have? Have you? By the God. have you? Have you repented of your sin and trusted in Jesus Christ? You have? So then what's your argument? What's your problem? Let, what's your point? What do you person, want to talk about? Let the person talk. If you don't believe in God, then don't talk. If you believe in God, come to the main point. I mean, in front of me. So but, like you say, friends, you, know, you stand before God in your own righteousness, so you're in serious trouble. I'm not you God. need somebody else's righteousness. Yours and mine's no good. You need the righteousness. 
revealed in the gospel, God's Son, Jesus Christ. He's the righteousness of God. And unless in that day when you stand before God, and that might come quicker than you imagine you think, you stand before, you stand before, you stand before God in your own righteousness, you're in serious bother. You need to be found in the righteousness of God's Son, Jesus Christ. Trust, trust, trust and obey. There's no other way to be happy in Jesus but trust and obey. Trust in God, believe. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved. If you can believe, all things are possible to the one who believes. The miracle of salvation, the miracle of God's salvation, the miracle of the new birth, it can be yours, yours today. Repent and believe the gospel, friends. Turn, turn, turn. Why will you die, says God, when you can have life, eternal, everlasting life in the name of the Son of God? Turn today, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, and be saved. Saved for time and for eternity. Oh, believe. Only believe. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and you shall be saved. You'd like to have a copy of God's Word. Read for yourself. Check these things out for yourself. Offer to you freely. Or my colleagues going to come and take over. You'd like a copy of God's Word. Freely offered to you. you come and ask for one. Gladly place it into your hands. May God bless you. And have mercy upon your precious, precious Never die in souls. You have to come to the common camps. I'm in front of me. I mean, talk to me. If you don't believe, just don't.